Does that look overexposed or am I just like crazy? Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. So I'm going out today to um, a roller skating rink. So I figured I would show you my like quick, easy, get ready with me. So we're gonna start with my hair, obviously. See, this is why, if you don't follow me on Snap, you won't know what I'm talking about. But um, anyways, like I was saying, on Snap I posted because when my hair is straight and not curly, I feel like I'm giving more fun on vibes. You should follow me on Snap. All right, let me pin this up. Let me, I feel like it's overexposed and I don't like that. All right, that's good. Sorry about that. But anyways, let's get ready. So what I'm gonna do first is I plugged in my curl liner. I'm using the Bellamy six in one curl and wand and I have it at, set at 350, it's green. So that means it's already all set. I try not to put it at a high heat because um, I don't wanna put that much damage to my hair. Sorry, my contacts are so dry. So after I let that heat up, I will use a heat protector in my hair, which is something that you should always put in your hair when you're putting any heat towards it. I have been using this literally since I was like, started doing my own hair basically. So like middle school, my favorite heat protector of all time. And I just spray it everywhere. Try not to soak it, even though sometimes it's a little difficult. But what I do is after I wash my hair and take a shower, I put that in my hair because you can put that in your hair wet or dry. So I'm gonna show you a couple pieces here and there, but then I'm just gonna kinda skim through the rest just because you don't need to see me do every single piece. So I'm not gonna do like a curl curl like I always do. I'm kinda just gonna do like a wave. So what I'm gonna do is, so this is where it's like kinda up to you. Usually I part it at my ear like this, but sometimes I kinda part it at where my eyes are and I'll part it here. It just kind of depends on what you're going for, what style. I think I want to do it at my eyes this time, not at my ear, just cause, I don't know. I feel like I do it like right here at my ear when I'm like going for a real like loose curl. I mean a real like curl curl and not a loose curl, but because I'm gonna go for a loose curl, I want to have kind of more hair. So I just clip it up, take my wand. You should really use a glove, but I just don't use a glove. <laughs> But I recommend using a glove because I've burned myself countless amount of times. So I'm just gonna grab, like, I kind of just feel it out. It feels too big, I take less pieces, but I'm gonna grab like this much hair. And I don't really grab the same amount for every hair. I just grab um, different sizes. So I wrap it around pretty much like one and a half and I leave a little bit hanging out like that on the side. And I just kind of hold it there for five seconds. And then I just let it fall. And then I pull it. That way it's not so curly. And then for the next piece, same thing. So this one I grab a little bit less hair. But on this one I'm gonna do it inward towards my head instead of outwards, instead of away from my face. So I just hold it there for about five seconds and drop it. I just alternate towards my face, away from my face, towards my face, away from my face. And then I do that all the way around. And then sometimes I forget what I just did. So I'm just gonna guess. And these pieces are really not that particular about because these are like the back pieces and the bottom pieces. I only care about this front, but the back pieces that I'm really stressed that much about because you don't even really see them. I just don't want them to be straight. And these pieces are kind of difficult. And I don't have my backdrop up because I'm lazy. <laughs> and I'm not like filming like anything crazy. I'm just doing a everyday kind of look. So I was like, I'm not putting my backdrop up. And I just continue this throughout my whole head. I'm gonna put some music on because I'm just gonna fast forward this part anyways.
So now for this top piece. I just do the same thing. I figured I'd just let you know. So I just part it. I think the kids are everywhere. I just part it in the middle because that's how I like my hair to be parted. I don't do it perfectly. I'm just trying to make sure it's not too crooked. And I swirl this side. Side. Same thing. I won't grab as big pieces over here. Kind of grab like small to medium pieces. I said I kind of just all the pieces I just ran them. I don't really do anything specific because I don't want it to be uniform. And I just continue that for the whole rest of my head. And I still are to still alternate it inward and outward. Okay, so once you finish curling, I don't play with it right away, like I don't judge it because this whole side had time to cool while I was curling this side, so I need to let this side cool so that way it doesn't, the, the curls don't drop automatically because if you just go and touch it, the curls aren't going to stay. Even if you put your spray, they won't stay. So you got to give it some time to just kind of cool off. So that's what we're going to do. <laughs> All right. So it feels pretty much cooled. So let me get my hairspray. Okay. So for hairspray, I use Tresemme Firm Control All Day Humidity Resistant Ultra Fine Domestic Hairspray. So it's number three. So this way it's not gonna leave you like sticky or um, super frizzy. So what I do is I spray all over and this one's better to use because you can literally put as much as you want and it will not make it sticky or crunchy or anything like that but like, i wouldn't do that like, i wouldn't go like this and spray it because then you make it sticky you gotta be a little further away make sure you get those pieces underneath A little bit all right so now what I do is I literally flip my head upside down so I flip my head upside down spray all these pieces shake it out judge it with my fingers I don't put my fingers completely through it I just go in halfway and then shake and then you're just gonna flip back upside down. All right, so now let's get into my makeup. Turn this off so I don't burn myself. So normally what I would normally do is start with my eyes, which I'm still gonna do, but I'm not gonna, should I conceal them? I mean, I really don't need to, because I'm not gonna put any eyeshadow on. Who am I talking to myself? Yeah, who else am I talking to? We're not going to because I I normally wouldn't, so I'm not gonna do that. So we're gonna start with my face because I'm not really doing any eyeshadow, like at least nothing too crazy. So I don't have to start with my eyes. So we're gonna take some Benefit Pore Professional Primer. I already moisturized my face before. I use the Neutrogena Hydra Boost Hydra Boost Moisturizer. Okay, gonna put that on. Now you're gonna take foundation, you can just take whatever foundation you prefer. I'm going to use Maybelline. We're gonna use Maybelline. So we're gonna use the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Normal to Oily Skin one. And this is shade 238 in Rich Tan. So I'm gonna shake it up real good. Pour some on my beauty blender. So if you really wanted to have like a really no makeup makeup, 
you could use a BB cream, but because I don't have like really perfect skin, I technically can't use a BB cream because um, it won't give me a good enough coverage. It'll still, everything will still show through in, the, in this bag. So I'm just gonna roll this in line. Like this one gives me a full coverage. I don't really have to like layer it, layer it on too much. Tan. Wait, <laughs> my skin's actually been doing pretty good. I just started using Curology about like maybe two weeks ago. I started off only using it every other night, and then and now I've this week I've been using it every night, and I definitely feel like it's making a difference. I'm still breaking out. But I think I'm breaking out because I've been drinking a lot of milk lately. Which I don't know why, because I try really hard to stay away from milk. Because dairy is so bad for your skin. But lately I've been having such a crave. Just like milk, like whole milk. So I need to get back on the almond milk game. Because that helped me a lot with my skin. But overall, I really I really like the Curology because um, it's just so lightweight. And, every, and it's like just for me. Like they designed it for my skin. They asked me a whole bunch of questions. This is not like, I wish this was sponsored, like that would be great, but like it's not. <laughs> it's just that I've seen a lot of people try it, so I wanted to try it. Yeah, they ask you a whole bunch of questions, and then you get like a dermatologist like for you, and then she basically tells you exactly what to do with your routine. Like not even just with their products, like she told me other products that I can buy, like online and stuff. Like different face washes, different moisturizers, and like not they're not even expensive. Like the Neutrogena moisturizer is a little up there. I normally wouldn't want to pay that much, but considering how much you get, it's not that bad. It's like 16 bucks, but you get quite a bit of it, so I don't really mind it. And then I use the CeraVe Foam and Face Wash, which I really like that one too. I think maybe before I was putting too much stuff on my face, that's why I was breaking out a lot. Because now in the morning, I'm literally only putting a moisturizer on, and I never used to do that. I used to put a toner, a moisturizer. I used to put a toner, an acne medicine, an acne moisturizer, and then um, I used to spray my face with like a... A mist, what are those mist calls? I don't know what they're called, but a mist. I used to put a lot of stuff on my face, so I think that was another reason why. So literally now in the morning, all I literally do is put the moisturizer on. And then like, if I do have like a breakout, I'll just take a tiny bit of the Curology and just dot it on. I don't know if you're supposed to do that, but like, it just makes me feel better doing that. Cause it makes me feel like it's gonna go away faster. I mean, it's not doing any harm by me doing that, cause I'm not just putting it all over my face cause you're only supposed to use the Curology at nighttime. They do have it so that you can get like their face wash and moisturizer from them, but it is kind of expensive. So I only I only get the bottle cause it's a subscription and you get it every um two months, I think. So we're gonna see how this goes. See if it works. Well, I'll let you guys know. Now we're gonna take some Shape Tape Concealer. We're gonna use light medium. And I'm not gonna go heavy with this. Just because I'm not doing heavy makeup. I might need to go in a little bit more just because my dark circles sometimes don't cover right in this area. So I'm just blending it out with this brush first. But sometimes when you use a beauty blender, it takes away too much of the product because it absorbs it. So when you blend it with a brush first, it's keeping most of the product there. I was thinking about vlogging while I was at the, um, I don't want to call it carousel because it's not a carousel. It's, I mean, it's not the carousel. It's, it's a different one that we're going to other than the carousel. But I was thinking about vlogging there. I don't know if you guys like when I like, just vlog like that. You guys gotta let me know. You gotta comment down and tell me what you guys want to see. The camera, stop recording. I don't even know what the last thing I said was. Yeah, so what I was saying was um, if I just film whatever I want to film, you're going to get some Halloween looks in March. <laughs> okay, so now that I'm nice and brightened, we're gonna take some translucent powder. We're gonna take the Laura Mercier translucent powder. We're gonna pat underneath. So up. So right there. And you wanna try to look up while you do this, so that when it when it sets, it sets not wrinkly, basically. Basically, wherever you sweat. Eyebrows. And I'm gonna do the sides of my nose. And I'm gonna take whatever's left on here and just do the rest of my face. So I know this probably seems like a lot and not easy. 
to go make up but you don't have to do this part you can literally just put it press it in and not let it sit there but i have to because i want to be scared so let's do my eyebrows i haven't used the brow definer for a really long time now ever since i got it basically and i've been neglecting my brow whiz and i used my brow whiz the other day and i was like wow this gives me a really like natural look not that the definer doesn't but the way i use the definer isn't really like a natural look it's more of like an instagram look I mean, I'm sure you could achieve the natural look with a definer, but I just don't. <laughs> Aren't you just gonna follow your natural line? Brush it down. Same thing on top. If you mess up, just wipe it away. Create that arch. And then you're just gonna fill it in with light strokes. Make sure you comb through it, so that way you can see any sparse spots. Fill it in. Stop with these front pieces. I'm just gonna draw hair like pieces. Don't worry about being sloppy because if you feel like it looks sloppy, you could just take some concealer and clean it up. So I'm just gonna clean this eyebrow up with concealer and then I will be doing my other eyebrow off camera along with the concealer. So I will see you in about like two seconds. All right, so once your eyebrows are drawn in and cleaned up, you're gonna take a clear brow gel. I have the Anastasia one, but it's all <laughs> you can't even read it because I use it so much. It's all wiped off. Brush them so they stay in place. See, I like the brow whiz, but I just feel like the brow whiz takes more work than the brow definer, and I think that's why I was started using the brow definer. All right, so you're gonna wipe off this bake. Alright, we're gonna use, I literally use the same stuff all the time. The Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. I'm gonna take this, this is a Luxie Foundation Brush, the Precision Foundation Brush. Right on the cheekbones. You don't have to go too crazy, just light. So the temples. The difference. the jawline, a little bit on the chin, a little bit on the nose, okay, and now we're going to go in with the Milani Baked Blush in the shade Corlina, with the same brush, I'm just going to pick some up, just a little bit. Yeah, shady, that's the matter. Damn baby, all I need is a little bit, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Okay, now we're gonna highlight. I'm gonna take the Anastasia Beverly Hills Nicole Guerrero palette that's super dirty because I use it all the time. I'm gonna take my beauty blender. I'm gonna spray it with some Milani Make It Last setting spray. And I'm gonna pick up Forever Young. That right on the highest points of my face. Now you can either go ham with this or you can not go ham, it's up to you. And now what I'm going to do is pick up this fluffy brush, pick some of this up, same shape, and just put it right on my eye. Just so it looks a little bit more awake. Focusing it mostly on the inner corner and then blending it on the rest of my eye. Sorry if I'm trying to go quick, my camera literally has one bar left. Now for eyes, you're gonna curl your lashes. So I'm actually not gonna use mascara. I'm gonna use my Claire Brow Gel. Now you can of course use mascara, but I feel like this gives you more of a natural look. Like a real, like you're not wearing makeup makeup. So I try to curl them as big as I can. Cause this will hold it, but it doesn't really keep them lifted. And then I put this on. See how this one fell already? Let's go back in and curl it again. Get some more. My lips, I'm just gonna use my Best Damn Beauty Lip Mask. You can't see it, it's so dirty. And, oh, I've had it for so long. I'm just gonna take this. The eye lips, it's gonna give me a really nice natural pout. I love this lip mask. Now we're just gonna take some of uh, Milani Make It Last, spritz our face. Then you're gonna take your beauty blender, and pat that part of it. Okay, take these clips out, judge your hair a little bit more, 
and this is the completed look guys so i know it probably seems like i did a lot but like in reality i really just didn't i did foundation concealer powder bronzer blush eyebrows that's pretty much it so that is all i have for you guys today i really hope you enjoyed this video thank you guys so much for watching please make sure you subscribe and turn on post notifications so you never miss a post and make sure you hit that thumbs up button if you like my makeup videos and i will see you guys next time bye